Good evening, fellow graduates, family, friends. Jefferson, let me get this out of the way. Jefferson staff, doc, um, Dr. Lang and the board, uh, board of Education, I'd like to thank you all for coming. I'd also like to thank all of Jefferson High School for giving me the honor of coming up here and speaking on behalf of you. Today is a special day, and I believe I speak for all of us, graduates and students, and JHS when I say thank you, parents. Thank you for loving us, supporting us, and doing everything that you do. For if it wasn't without you, we wouldn't be here today. So I want to thank you guys for that. Two of my four high school years, I was homeschooled. At the bigger high schools, I was having a hard time understanding my work, was given almost no support from any of my teachers, and had no friends. And I was flat out miserable. So I stayed home and completed two years of school, but then my mom was given a job here at Jefferson High School as a health clerk. She asked me if I'd like to give regular school another chance, and you know, I didn't know at first, but I said yes. And Honestly, that was probably the best decision I'd ever made in my life this far. Here at Jefferson, I found support. Here I found friends. Here I found the proper education I was seeking. Two years ago, I wasn't even sure if I'd graduate. I figured that I'd have to stay back because I couldn't understand any of the work I was supposedly learning. But then I came here to Jefferson High School. And it was here that my homeschool credits were recognized. Here, where I felt safe and secure. And here, where I made long-lasting friendships. And it was here where I got my second chance at that diploma. You know, I think that's all I ever wanted. Second chance. Second chance at redemption. And a second chance at life. I think I can speak for most Jefferson students when I say we needed that extra push for us to move in the right direction, to help us reach our full potential. Everybody makes mistakes, but no one should have to suffer by losing their education just because they made some dumb decisions when they were really young and immature. Nobody's perfect. Jefferson is the one school which I got, I would get up every morning and actually want to come to. I don't pretend to be sick. Yeah. This is the one place where I got to be a star. I woke up every day, I felt like a star. I felt awesome. Like, where I felt all things were possible for me, nothing was too big or too hard for me to accomplish, I could do anything. I felt invincible. We as 2013 graduates worked our hearts out and there's no doubt that each one of us have earned these diplomas. Between high school and our family, we learned everything we need to succeed in this lifetime. Work hard, show respect, tell the truth, and accept the consequences. Show integrity, kindness, and tolerance. Believe in yourself and stay true to who you are. And now that we've got these diplomas, it's on to bigger and better things. We're young, and our futures are bright, and we, we can make the world anything we want it to be. What we have learned in high school, we will be able to take anywhere with us and be able to withstand anything the world throws our way. To all of those who supported us along the way, we thank you all, we love you all, and we will always be Jefferson Jaguars. Thank you. As many of you know, my name is Gloria Isabel Tovar Guzman. Of course, I was born here in Greeley, Colorado. <laughs> I grew up with my single mother, five sisters, and little brother. Growing up, I had my childhood taken away from me, making me much sooner than expected, because I wanted to help my mom care for my sisters. Having to see my mother struggle hard every day to provide for us was heartbreaking, but inspiring. The obstacles life put in her way brought a waterfall of salty tears in both our eyes. My mom's painful cries brought agony to my poor little heart because I wanted her to stop suffering. I wanted my mom to be happy and stop crying herself to sleep. But I only 
I was only six years old and there was not much I could do for her then. However, this gave me the motivation to push forward and work hard so I could help make a better life for us. So I developed big dreams for my family and myself. My number one dream was, and still is, to become a Secret Service agent. I knew I had to go to school and make something out of my education. The pain and bruises of my family's past created a new hope for me. Every day I would try harder in school and try to soak up as much as information into my brain. As the days passed, I learned a lot more and that caused my hope to shine brighter each day. When we moved out of Greeley to a new city, we started a new life. We finally got away from all the depressing moments we had to be put through someone we loved. I met new friends and they helped me discover who I was meant to be. I am the charismatic, energetic, helpful little Gloria everybody likes to be around, instead of the moping, depressing young girl of my past. But at the age of 15, we decided to stop running away and face our past, so we moved back here to Greeley. It was the start of my freshman year when I came upon Jefferson High School. My cousin, Anna, was the first one who introduced me to Jefferson. She told me what the staff, students, and classes were like at Jefferson. When she told me the students were on a first name basis with the teachers, that caught my attention right away. I was very intrigued. I wanted to attend Jefferson to see all these things were true. The minute I walked in at Jefferson High School, I was shocked how many students were friendly towards me. I made new friends that very same day. As the months passed, I loved going to school. I loved the fact that the classes are smaller, the teachers connect with you, the students got along with each other. There were classes I never even heard of before, and you develop, develop a lot of skills. But what I absolutely loved was that they treat you like family. Yes, we are an alternative school, and people look down upon us. They should be very ashamed of themselves because they judge a school they haven't even attended. Ask yourselves, where are you going to find another school that will do anything in their power to help the child with their education, who will treat your child with respect, keep them safe, and motivate them to try harder in their schoolwork? Jefferson High School gives teen mothers the chance to finish school. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson High School gives teen mothers a chance to finish their education by having their children attend the daycare at Jefferson. While I was still attending high school, people from other schools would always tell me, you're never going to get anywhere if you keep attending that school. Guess what? I am graduating as a junior, and that's because of the teachers here at Jefferson High School. The teachers who helped me not give up when I had the chance to. They opened my eyes and explained how the real world works. And they de did that by supporting me and creating good relationships with them. My education doesn't end here on this day. Today is just the beginning of it. I will be attending the University of Northern Colorado in the fall of 2013. Thanks to the staff members at Jefferson High School, especially Sean and Aaron, <laughs> for guiding me on the path I wanted to go and everybody who stood on my side. Jessica, my mom, my dad, Ms. Blakely, my sisters, all the people who stood by my side supporting me in my decisions. But I want to thank, oh my God. <laughs> but I want to thank a very special person who has been with me for 17 years, and no matter what we've been through, she stood by my side. She believed I would become successful in life, and today, I know I made her very proud. So thank you, Mommy, for helping me make this very day special by not giving up on me. Sometimes you've got to fail before you succeed because that will get you to where you want to be. You just need to have the courage to believe and then you will achieve your dream. I am proud to be a Jefferson Jaguar graduate. Congratulations class of 2013.
Aguilar Duenas. Noemi Alvarado. <laughs> Jessica Ann Andrews. <laughs> Chelsea K. Arrigo. Thank you, Ms. McCain. What a great honor it is to stand before you all, the class of 2013 of Jefferson High School, and to share with you heartfelt greetings from the Board of Education. We are excited to join you, your family, friends, the faculty and staff in proudly recognizing your accomplishments. It is my pleasure as a member of the Greeley Evans School District 6 Board of Education to certify that each of you has met all of the graduation requirements of Jefferson High School as recommended and certified by the faculty and staff. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Education, you are now authorized and have received your diploma. Congratulations to each of you. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, you may now move your tassel to the right side of your cap. Let's give these graduates one more big round of applause. Thank you.